Precocious puberty is when a child's body begins changing into that of an adult too soon. Puberty that begins before age 8 in girls and before age 9 in boys is considered precocious puberty. Puberty includes rapid growth of bones and muscles, changes in body shape and size, and development of the body's ability to reproduce. The cause of precocious puberty often can't be found. Rarely, certain conditions, such as infections, hormone disorders, tumors, brain abnormalities or injuries, may cause precocious puberty. Treatment for precocious puberty typically includes medication to delay further development. Precocious puberty signs and symptoms include development of the following before age 8 in girls and before age 9 in boys. Signs and symptoms in girls include Breast growth First period, monarchy Signs and symptoms in boys include Enlarged testicles and penis Facial hair, usually grows first on the upper lip. Deepening voice. Signs and symptoms that can occur in boys or girls include. Pubic or underarm hair. Rapid growth. Acne. Adult body odor. Make an appointment with your child's doctor for an evaluation if your child has any of the signs or symptoms of precocious puberty. Causes. To understand what causes precocious puberty in some children, it's helpful to know what causes puberty to begin. This process involves the following steps. The brain starts the process. Part of the brain makes a hormone called gonadotropin releasing hormone. The pituitary gland releases more hormones. GnRH causes the pituitary gland, a small pin shaped gland at the base of your brain to release two more hormones. The hormones are called luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Sex hormones are produced. LH and FSH cause the ovaries to produce hormones involved in the growth and development of female sexual characteristics, estrogen, and the testicles to produce hormones responsible for the growth and development of male sexual characteristics, testosterone physical changes occur. The production of estrogen and testosterone causes the physical changes of puberty. Why this process begins early in some children depends on whether they have central precocious puberty or peripheral precocious puberty. Why this process begins early in some children depends on whether they have central precocious puberty or peripheral precocious puberty. First type is central precocious puberty. There's usually no identifiable cause for this type of precocious puberty. In central precocious puberty, the puberty process starts too soon. The pattern and timing of the steps in the process are otherwise normal. For the majority of children with this condition, there's no underlying medical problem and no identifiable reason for the early puberty. In rare cases, the following may cause central precocious puberty. A tumor in the brain or spinal cord, central nervous system. A defect in the brain present at birth, such as excess fluid buildup, hydrocephalus, or a non-cancerous tumor, hematoma. Radiation to the brain or spinal cord. Injury to the brain or spinal cord. McCune-Albright syndrome, a rare genetic disease that affects bones and skin color and causes hormonal problems. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia, a group of genetic disorders involving abnormal hormone production by the adrenal glands. Hypothyroidism, a condition in which the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough hormones. Second type is peripheral precocious puberty. Estrogen or testosterone in your child's body causes this type of precocious puberty. The less common peripheral precocious puberty occurs without the involvement of the hormone in your brain, GnRH, that normally triggers the start of puberty. Instead, the cause is release of estrogen or testosterone into the body because of problems with the ovaries, testicles, adrenal glands or pituitary gland. In both girls and boys, the following may lead to peripheral precocious puberty. 
a tumor in the adrenal glands or in the pituitary gland that secretes estrogen or testosterone. McCune Albright syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that affects the skin color and bones and causes hormonal problems. Exposure to external sources of estrogen or testosterone, such as creams or ointments. In girls, peripheral precocious puberty may also be associated with ovarian cysts, ovarian tumors. In boys, peripheral precocious puberty may also be caused by a tumor in the cells that make sperm, germ cells, or in the cells that make testosterone. Leydig cells. Gene mutation, a rare disorder called gonadotropin independent familial sexual precocity, which is caused by a defect in a gene, can result in the early production of testosterone in boys, usually between ages 1 and 4. Factors that increase a child's risk of precocious puberty include being a girl. Girls are much more likely to develop precocious puberty. Being African American. Precocious puberty appears to affect African Americans more often than children of other races. Being obese. Children who are significantly overweight have a higher risk of developing precocious puberty. Being exposed to sex hormones. Coming in contact with an estrogen or testosterone cream or ointment, or other substances that contain these hormones, such as an adult's medication or dietary supplements can increase your child's risk of developing precocious puberty. Having other medical conditions. Precocious puberty may be a complication of McKinnon Albright syndrome or congenital adrenal hyperplasia, conditions that involve abnormal production of the male hormones, androgens. In rare cases, precocious puberty may also be associated with hypothyroidism. Having received radiation therapy of the central nervous system. Radiation treatment for tumors, leukemia or other conditions can increase the risk of precocious puberty. Possible complications of precocious puberty include Short height Children with precocious puberty may grow quickly at first and be tall, compared with their peers. But, because their bones mature more quickly than normal, they often stop growing earlier than usual. This can cause them to be shorter than average as adults. Early treatment of precocious puberty, especially when it occurs in very young children, can help them grow taller than they would without treatment. Social and emotional problems. Girls and boys who begin puberty long before their peers may be extremely self-conscious about the changes occurring in their bodies. This may affect self-esteem and increase the risk of depression or substance abuse. Some of the risk factors for precocious puberty, such as sex and race, can't be avoided. But, there are things you can do to reduce your child's chances of developing precocious puberty, including Keeping your child away from external sources of estrogen and testosterone, prescription medications for adults in the house or dietary supplements containing estrogen or testosterone, for example. Encouraging your child to maintain a healthy weight. To diagnose precocious puberty, the doctor will Review your child's and your family's medical history. Do a physical exam. Run blood tests to measure hormone levels. X-rays of your child's hand and wrist also are important for diagnosing precocious puberty. These x-rays can help the doctor determine your child's bone age, which shows if the bones are growing too quickly. Determining the type of precocious puberty. Your child's doctor will also need to find out which type of precocious puberty your child has. To do so, he or she will perform a test called a gonadotropin-releasing hormone GnRH, stimulation test, and then take a blood sample. In children with central precocious puberty, this hormone will cause other hormone levels to rise. In children with peripheral precocious puberty, other hormone levels stay the same. Additional testing for central precocious puberty may be required. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. 
A brain MRI is usually done for children who have central precocious puberty to see if any brain abnormalities are causing the early start of puberty. Thyroid testing. The doctor may also test your child's thyroid if he or she shows any signs of slow thyroid function, hypothyroidism, such as fatigue, sluggishness, increased sensitivity to cold, constipation, a drop in school performance or pale, dry skin. Additional testing for peripheral precocious puberty. Other tests also are necessary for children with peripheral precocious puberty to find the cause of their condition. For example, the doctor may run additional blood tests to check other hormone levels or, in girls, he or she may do an ultrasound to check for an ovarian cyst or tumor. Treatment for precocious puberty depends on the cause. The primary goal of treatment is to enable the child to grow to a normal adult height. Most children with central precocious puberty, in which there's no underlying medical condition, can be effectively treated with medication. This treatment, called GnRH analog therapy, usually includes a monthly injection of a medication, such as Luprolide, Lupron Depot, which delays further development. Some newer formulations can be given at longer intervals. The child continues to receive this medication until he or she reaches the normal age of puberty. On average, 16 months after he or she stops receiving the medication, the process of puberty begins again. If another medical condition is causing your child's precocious puberty, treatment of that condition is necessary to stop the progress of puberty. For example, if a child has a tumor that's producing hormones and causing precocious puberty, puberty usually will stop when the tumor is surgically removed. 